Friends, you are visiting to a theme park where you are finding two different types of boards on the gate. So one is text content, second one is visual format. Which one gives you more clarity? Explaining everything in the pictorial format, it's very easy and easily understandable to the doer. So the same concept is followed here. So in this video, we'll learn PFD that is process flow diagram, which is very important for the PPAP. So this video will be having four chapters. One is what is PFD and benefits of PFD, third elements of PFD and fourth we'll see one example of process flow diagram. So let us go into the video. So what is PFD? PFD is the process flow diagram. It gives a simple diagrammatic view of processes from the raw material receipt to till dispatch. The so stage wise processes are explained in the diagrammatic wave along with the inputs and output information very systematically. So, so what are the benefits of process flow diagram? Why it is required? So first of all, it gives a visual clarity of all data. It gives a complete flow in the visual form. Second, it, it is the base document for all PPAP. So it is made initially during the process design time. So it is a base for process FMEA and control preparation. And it helps for a future reference during audit or any analysis or future process running reference. And it helps to plan for a material flow and material storage and complete value stream mapping or any other improvements in the storage and material flow that can be done by using process flow chart. So in this chapter, let us learn elements of PFD. So there are different symbols which explains and denotes the various purposes. So circle that denotes the operation that is a process is being done. And simple square box, it, it denotes the inspection is performed in this stage. And the diamond shape, it, it denotes the decision making in this stage. An inverted triangle, it denotes the storage of material in, the, in that particular stage. And the simple arrow, this denotes the transportation of material or products. And sometimes such a symbol is given that, that square box contains a circle. That means the operation is inbuilt with the inspection. That may be the multi gauging or in the machine itself, it's inbuilt the inspection. So whenever the product is out of this particular stage, it is produced as well as inspected, then moved to the next station. So that denotes this symbol. Friends, in this chapter, let us see one example process flow diagram. So in the past chapter, we have already learned symbols of PFD. So here we will see one practical example. So first of all, we have to ensure the correct part number and part name along with that. That's very important is engineering change level of drawing because that is mandatory. So the change level as well as the revision date, both information has to be there and PFD prepared preparation origin date should be there along with that the revision should be there for individual even in the same revision drawing also you may be altering your process flow diagram multiple times so initially process flow diagram is made so during the preparation of further level control plan or FMEA based on that input there may be changes in the process flow diagram or after during trials or after during approval or a post approval due to some problems so in all these cases, there may be a changes, there may be a reason for changes in the process flow diagram. The changes will go through and up accordingly you have to update the revision of one. This revision only talks about process flow diagrams revision, not relevant to drawing. So coming to the uh, process flow diagram, so the process stages, first column, second column input source of variation, third the symbols and fourth one is machines and equipments used and next one is product outcome and process characteristics both even product characteristics process characteristics that whatever you know you have to mention because this will be helpful for a, a, I mean evaluation in the FMEA and further control plan making 
So here the process stage wise the number is given to identify just because symbols we are giving only to understand the flow but number is given to identify the stage 10, 20, 30 in future or in the references we can just recall 40 operation 40 operation 50 such a recalling is easy if you are giving a number. So let us see further first one is this is a gear manufacturing process flow so first one is uh, receiving the forging this is like we already receiving a forging and storage we already seen inverter triangle is for a storage purpose and then 20 operation is inspection there is a square box so it is tested at the bench and uh, as per the drawing forging drawing and 30 and 40 operations are rough and finished turning so incoming variations it is mentioned over here variation in harness materials stock is less forging divex etc as an input source of variation. So next one is oper it's an operation, so circle. So it is performed in CNG, CNC machine. And uh, here uh, output is a OD, outer diameter, and feed and speed of the machine is the process characteristics. It is not mandatory you have to accurately mention all the things here. here. It is only you have to mention the guidelines. So 50 again storage, one quantity will be maintained. And 60 again turn blank inspection. Here it is a decision also there are one, there is one stage that's what this diamond is given. Because before moving it is moved to the next plan. So before moving to the next plan we cannot send the rejection parts to the next stage of operation. So they are only inspection and they are sorting out if there is any rework or anything rejection should be there. They are taking a decision and transportation it is moved to the plan 2. So the arrow symbol is used. And next operation is again it's a circle it's operation hobbing so input variation is dia oversize and hobbing machine and dop and lead profile all mention whatever product characteristics we expect out of this process and process characteristics rpm and speed of hob fixture cutting tool run out as per the process sheets next one is chamfering operation and next one is number punching it's a manual process this all circle because it's all operations then afterwards again decision making because uh, even next operation inspection along with the decision making is done in this operation then it is going to the so next one is grinding after that it goes for a final inspection so here again dotted if there is any uh, uh, rejection any rework is there then it will go back to the process based on the input then again decision making and going to the further process of washing and packing packing is also one of the process it is not at all inspection so the circle is followed in the packing and transportation and final it is moved to the customer end varos that varo storage so that is what inverted triangle it's a storage so all these operations it is clearly defined through the symbols so for, a, for any person who is away from this operation, who is out of these processes, if he is reviewing this process flow diagram, he can easily get a clarity about the flow of operations, flow of processes, as well as sequences of operations and input-output characteristics of product as well as process. So this all the information given in the simple way through diagrammatic view in the process flow diagram. Friends, hope you got a clarity on the process flow diagram. So please keep watching our PPAP series and please like and share our video. Thank you.